OK, um, let's talk Tottenham Hotspur then, Michael. Uh, we know they want to add a forward. We mentioned Dominic Solanke. Is that a goer? I think potentially might, yes. There is certainly interest from Tottenham Hotspur in Dominic Solanke. My understanding is there's not been talks between the two clubs as of yet, but he is on their list. We've said all summer Spurs would like to sign another forward and Solanke is on that list. Right. You said a forward, but you've said consistently to me a versatile forward. Is he not just a straight down the middle number nine? Ultimately, he's an out-and-out centre-forward. But Dominic Solanke can also play as a 10. He's also played in wide positions before for previous clubs. He can do a bit of everything. That's what Ange Postacoglu likes in his forwards. And we have to say as well, like I've said to you all summer, Mike, Spurs want to sign English players. They're looking at homegrown players. Now, as I have to reiterate, there's been no discussions yet with, between the two clubs, but we do know that Tottenham Hotspur are interested. Now, you've got to look at it from Tottenham's point of view. Of course, they've not... It's been nearly over a year now that Spurs sold Harry Kane to Bayern Munich. And he's back on Saturday. Spurs playing yeah. Bayern Munich and I will be there. <laughs> but Harry Spurs, will be delighted. Yeah, he can't wait to see him. <laughs> but Spurs have yet to properly replace him. So let's wait and see. Is it Dominic Sanke? But obviously, you know, not getting into the Euro squad. He had a great season for Bournemouth last year. That would have hurt him, Mike. Yeah. And maybe he's thinking... Another movie. I mean, he's not, he's not told Bournemouth yet he wants to leave at all, but maybe this will, this will interest him. Do we think a move to Spurs is the sort of move that would suit him? A crack at a potential top six side? He might think he, he deserves another opportunity, but at the end of the day, Bournemouth took the punt on him. They paid big money to sign Dominic Solanke. Last season, he had a brilliant season. So it's, it's a really interesting one. Now, someone said to me, he's not Harry Kane, is he? Who is? Who is? I mean, it's, it's not easy, is it, out there? I mean, as I say, Spurs are looking to sign the more domestic players. Not all, not all of them, but some. So this one, I think, is a go. He's and already I think... played for top clubs as well, hasn't he? So I think if you're looking for a player to come in and make an impact, maybe the moves earlier in his career came a little bit too early, and now is the time where he could go and make an impact at one of the, the top clubs in the Premier League. Michael, are Spurs going to have to offload? I think... I mean, Spurs have already sold Pierre-Emile Hoybier. Uh, I mean, there, there's players who I know have no futures there. Sergio Reguilón has no future at Tottenham Hotspur, the left-back. Giovanni Lo Celso, I think Spurs would probably listen to offers for. I also understand that Spurs will listen to offers and potential loan offers for Manos Solomon, who Spurs um, signed last year after he left Fulham. So I still think there'll be plenty of activity in and out. I know Spurs fans are a bit concerned about not much activity at the moment. But I think most club stuff needs to do a lot, don't they? I've never known a window like it. Are I, you I, happy so far? Am I happy? With the business? Uh, I, think, I think Archie Grazer is, uh, is going to be a great signing. I think, I think he'll go straight into the first team. You covered a lot of leads, didn't you, last season? Do, do you see Archie Gray getting into that Spurs side? Absolutely, yeah. Versatile player, yeah. huge development ahead of him, and he's got an unbelievable temperament for such a young lad.